Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Intellect like Digest. And in this video, I'm going to tell you top eight features of the Mac OS Sierra that have been announced at WWDC 2016. Let's get started. One thing which you might have noticed in the introduction is now I'm calling it Mac OS instead of OS X. It is now renamed to Mac OS instead of OS X or uh, operating system for Macs. Now it's simply called Mac OS. The first and most important and probably pivotal feature for the Mac OS Sierra is the addition of Siri. Siri is a popular voice recognition engine that we find on the iPhones and it is hugely popular when it comes to getting little things done like setting your alarms, making calls, etc. Now you can ask Siri to search you files, show you pictures and do all sort of things like setting calendar not notifications, reminders, etc. on your Mac as well. Addition of Siri to Mac I think is a huge step. The second major change in the OS Sierra is that now it syncs your iCloud drive with your desktop as well. More often than not, we save our important files on the desktop and not in the iCloud drives and we miss out on those files on the go. So when you are on iCloud now with OS Sierra, everything that you put on your desktop on your Mac is available on your other Mac devices, your iPads as well as your iPhone so you can access your important files everywhere. Feature number three is the optimized storage. This is an all new feature which lets you free up the disk space on Mac which easily runs out on most of the Macs that I have used. So what it does is that it removes cache, it removes the old files, logs, etc. It also removes your very old trash emails, making more space. It also moves some of the files that you are not using for a very long time to the cloud, freeing up some space on your local drive, giving you considerable boost in the available storage that you have on the Mac OS. Feature number four is the Apple Pay on web. The Apple Pay, which is very popular on iPhones, is now available on the web. In Safari, when you select to pay with Apple Pay now, it will give you a prompt on your iPhone as well as on your Safari browser. You can pay that transaction by authenticating with Touch ID sensor on your iPhone or you can also authenticate with your Apple Watch. Feature number five is picture in picture. I don't know why Apple is making such a big deal out of it, but it is a useful feature anyways. You can make any video float on your screen on top of any application that you are using. Say you are watching a tutorial and doing something on an application. Now you can pin that video somewhere on your screen in picture in picture mode, resize it, place it and follow that tutorial on the application. You can do it for multiple applications, multiple sort of uh, things can be done using this picture in picture video. Maybe you are just following up on a news story or maybe a sports game while working on some of the documents. Feature number six is tab in apps. It is very convenient to use tabs, especially while web browsing when you have multiple tabs open. Organizing things in tabs is very easy and is very convenient way of getting back to them in a very fast way. Similarly, now you can use the same on third party apps. For example, you are working on Word document and you have four instances of the same open. Accessing them with tabs makes it very easy. This tab support in OS Sierra is available for third party as well as all Apple apps. Feature number seven, which I think is vastly useful is the universal clipboard. Say you find an interesting piece of text on your iPhone, you select it, you copy it, but if you want to paste it on your Mac OS, you have very limited functionality available. You either send it by email or by messenger and copy it there again and then paste. Universal clipboard makes this very easy. You just copy on your iPhone and paste it on your Mac and you don't have to do anything. All the clipboards on one of your Mac or iOS or Apple device is available on the other devices. For example, if you copy something on your uh, Mac, you can paste it on your iPad or your iPhone and vice versa. This makes copy paste very easy. Feature number eight, last but not the least is auto unlock. How many times have you typed in your password on your Mac wrong and you retyped it again? Not anymore. If you are wearing an Apple Watch and you bring it close enough to your Mac while you unlock it or turn it on, 
it will automatically unlock and would not require password as long as it is in close proximity on your Mac device. Once it detects that it is you only, gives you access without the password, which is very convenient and super easy. There are many more other improvements, but these were the top 8 features. Do share your thoughts and comments and suggestions in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. Do share this video with your friends. Please stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button for more such videos. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.